Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second uh, AJS News video that we have for the, you this week. Uh, but first, a word from our reoccurring sponsors. Very, very excited to have them back. Check out the video. Oh my God, I am so glad quarantine is relaxing, Joe. It has been so long since I've been able to eat out. Yeah, same. It's been forever since I've gone down oh, yeah. town for some food. Mm. God, I can't wait to just put it in my mouth. You ready? What the hell? Two fellatio roll specials. What the? What is it? What is this? What the hell is this? Uh, okay. Garnish. No! It that's way too much. It looks nasty like that. Wait, Joe, what do you do? No! Ew! Don't no! It's get that out of your mouth! <sighs> what is wrong with you? That's gross. Oh. oh! I'm sorry, no one's been down here in a while, you know, the quarantine. Here, let me let me get this cleaned up. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Clean it, please. Oh. You can't put anything like that in your mouth unless it's, it's clean. That's disgusting. I agree. Here you guys go. All cleaned up. Oh, much better. I can actually get to eating now without all that garnish in the way. Don't let an untamed bush ruin anyone's appetite. Try the Lawnmower 3.0 today. Remember, garnish is for decoration, not for getting in your mouth. Get 20% off at Manscaped, plus free shipping at manscaped.com backslash Angry Joe Show. It's the perfect Father's Day gift. Check out all their deals now. Click the link and support our show. Oh, yeah. You still got some in your teeth. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> I don't even like sushi. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> uh, I know, right? I was going to put you on blast. You did it before I could put you on blast. Mm. Joe will not eat fish, will not eat sushi. No One sushi. of these days, no. I will be able to get. Joe, when we're 80 and old, can we at least do it? It'll nope. be clean, okay? I'll use a Manscaped weed whacker <laughs> on it and making it clean for you, nice uh, and clean. No. Because when you're fresh and you're clean, you feel good, <laughs> you look good, you feel good. Click the links down below, guys. Angry Army, uh, Manscaped is back supporting us. They enjoyed our parody so much last time. They They're become a fan. Thank them by clicking those links and and then showing them that we're engaged with them and we appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we'll go and get to the news. All right. The first thing we want to talk about is Spider-Man. Yeah, um, Spider-Man. So Spider-Man <laughs> came out on PlayStation 4, and everybody loved it. I loved it. Yes. You guys I loved really it. enjoyed yeah. it. I, was, I retweeted a video that somebody did uh, I became Danger and, and said a different rap song to it, which I thought fit it way better. Mm -hmm. um, really, really good uh, You know, style, graphics. I cannot wait. Uh, Miles Morales has different abilities, yes. obviously, and the potential for his villains are awesome. Yeah, so everyone was really excited. We got that re we got that special reveal, and then someone over at PlayStation said something that kind of freaked everybody out. Um, kind of talking about is this a actual expansion? standalone game or is it something like an expansion, a much mm. smaller title where yeah. we're not going to get all of the villains, we're not going to get the story that we want, um, I th and that's. Oh. Clear, I thought. So the, what he originally it, said said it that uses it uses the same engine and it's just following Miles Morales. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's its own game. Yeah. So what it, what he had said is, I guess you could call it an expansion and an enhancement to the previous game. Simon Rudder, the executive vice president and head of European business operations at Sony Interactive. It's an said, expansion. He said it's an expansion. Expansion I and guess an enhancement. You can call an enhanced it. expansion. But he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's probably an old fart that doesn't yeah. know the difference between a full game and an expansion. I would hope so because I do want this to be a. Mm. a is it gonna really be like cool. a four? I, I is want it four hours? <laughs> you got me all hyped for four. No, I it's not gonna be game. four hours. It's gonna be a full game. Is it gonna be? 
Alex, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know. That's up in the air. That's up in the what? air right now. Why? And, and so we do Why know that. Is, it says no. I saw them. I saw them respond to this and say no. It, it is, is a standalone, standalone game. game. But they're, they're, Sony has made in the past standalone, very short, four-hour long games. And so that's what has people worried right now. Is we're not going to know is this is this a full game that is going to be the whatever however many hours Spider-Man was, or is it going to be cut short because they think that Miles Morales doesn't have the bank ability, which is absolutely not true because the best. Spider-Man. How dare you yeah. say that? Suggest yeah. that it's not you. But the yeah. inter- the internet has suggested like no, people no, no, were no, no, people no, no, were no. super upset. No, no, no. So yeah. I'm hoping that this is actually, and we know it's a standalone game. No, but is it a full length standalone? It, full, game? it better be come out with full length. I'm pretty sure they've said full length standalone game. I'll look it up while we do the other news stories. But here's the thing. Alex, I am, can you make me smell today? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a bad yes. news. I've got, <laughs> some, I've got some good stuff in here, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It just depends yeah, on how you think about it. Hold down. on. Let me go through some of these other ones. <laughs> yeah, it's know. a full game. I, 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 you know what it I is. want? I want him to have all the different alternate costumes. That'll be cool like yeah. we did in the last one. Mm-hmm. And what would be really cool, I don't know if they could do it because they might have to re, you know, spend a lot of time developing it, but actually uh, have a vision mode where it looks like the animated version right make everything oh, okay. bright and yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of colorful and stuff and almost cell shaded but that seems like it's a whole different a lot. game yeah right now i just want a but full it game, would be Joe. cool i want a it full game right cool. now oh i know yeah it would be cool so um so according to a bloomberg report based on someone who has worked on the game it is supposed to be a shorter oh no so again we don't know for sure you, sony has not come out and said out. allegedly oh, look at this three allegedly. days ago Spiles Morales' DLC, not a full game, but then it says updated. Mm -hmm. Update number two. Insomniac Games has now officially confirmed that Spider-Man Miles Morales will be a standalone game via a post on Twitter. Yes. Put it up here. Thus, marking an end to the game's bizarre approach to marking. But it didn't mark the end. Because because we don't know it's full length. in that tweet, it doesn't say anything about being full length. It says it is a standalone game. Yes, we knew that you don't have to own Confusion. Spider-Man to play this one. Yes. That's not what's that question. What's that question here is it is a small little side adventure that we consider an expansion or a, a side. Well, I guess that wouldn't be because you need the original. Mm-hmm. Good. Uncharted. Just put, you just should have put Spider-Man 2 Miles Morales. Done. Yes. Well, so the reason that everyone's worried is they did the same thing with Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, uh, with, for Uncharted side characters. It was so much shorter than the original game. Okay, People- I saw somebody else say that it will be like being a standalone game along the lines, new information from Bloomberg, setting an unnamed source. Yes. It will be a standalone game along the lines of The Lost Legacy. Which is a shorter game. That. Yeah, it's a much, much shorter game focused on side characters, a lot less content. And people were were rightfully upset because they're like, look, this is one of the side characters you wanted a little bit more information on and you shortened everything up and they were hoping for a full-length experience. And so are we going to get a half-length experience for a full-length price? How How yes. is this going to happen? Yes. yes. They're going to charge you $60. <sighs> well, and it's going to be shorter than the original game, and I'm going to blast it. I'm going to fucking blast it. it unless <laughs> it's $40. Going? And for a shorter experience, then, hey, man. man. I don't write the, I mean, I don't <laughs> write the story. It's not my fault. I thought you said you were going to make Joe happy. I'm, gonna right? lo- I'm looking through some of these other things. Um, You're fired. <laughs> um, <laughs> make Spider-Man Miles Morales longer, Alex, or you're fired. Um, all right, I got oh. something funny. You guys want to beat up on Stadia? We can do that. I'll, yeah. I'll move this one to the front. Let's do that. Hey, you know how everyone likes uh, like hates Stadia because they're they're they're, <laughs> they're incompetent they're pieces of shit who yeah. lie about everything. Yeah. Uh, well, Stadia an overpriced uh, dumbass model. Yeah, it's terrible. It doesn't. It makes no sense that they are a billion dumbass dollar company subscription they, model. with all of the technology in the world and they can't make a goddamn <laughs> controller work. Um, so on Google Stadia, uh, they accidentally let Gods and Monsters, which is one of the games I'm looking forward to a lot. It's a mm-hmm. Ubisoft game. They called it uh, Breath of the Wild, but with the, the Greek pantheon of, of heroes and gods. Super into that. Yeah. Well, they posted the E3 demo from last year on accident on Google Stadia. Oh, sweet. Uh, and it's, so it was filled with, I mean, we do get some actual screenshots, but there was a bunch Fuck. of like template stuff in there. And what was really funny to I me about this story... <laughs> Is we could have been playing Gods and Monsters right now. Yeah, we that's never... that's actually one positive story. It's we... uh, hey, if you're stupid enough to have fucking got Stadia and you're still paying for Stadia, 
their competence has ruled bank error in your favor. Yes. Collect $200. <laughs> well, in this case, collect a demo that nobody else gets to play. So if you were a Google Stadia owner and they put a new game on there that you've never heard before, uh, you'd think that a lot of people would download it. It was free, right? It didn't cost them any money. Uh, but according to them, only a few hundred gamers were able to play it. Uh, so that I don't know if that's a just because... Hundred. Because there's not a lot of people looking at there's it. There's a total or, of a thousand stadiums. Yeah, there's, there's maybe a thousand. <laughs> uh, so they played it for about 30 minutes. So we got all sorts of real fun screenshots. Mm -hmm. It looks... Uh, I mean, it looks interesting. I have high hopes for the game, but it's just another thing that's like, how many times are you going to screw up with Stadia? You can't even Countless, post the things. Yeah, it's like the games that the things that you're putting up on the store aren't even accurate. Like, what's wrong with you people? Like, do, I know you have money. Who do you have working at Google who isn't tech savvy or gamer centric enough to know that? Hey, uh, I don't think Gods and Monsters is out yet. It's going out. Ah, let's it. go put it up. Uh, Gods and Monsters. That must be the latest, greatest, hot game that the kids are playing. Hey, fellow kids. Yeah. <laughs> We're still doing the backwards baseball yeah. caps, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Stadia. That that's the fun one that we got. Is All that right. they are they are incompetent. They can't they can't Stadia! design anything, and they can't seem to do Leave anything it right. Leave to Stadia to put a I've smile been, on my face. I've yeah. been seeing more ads for it recently. Oh, on me too. I hate they play ads. in front of our videos. I don't know, but I other videos I watch they play in front of those. Yeah, like, Put right uh, but here. they're Fuck thankfully they're guy. mercifully short, aren't they? They're like are they so they, crazy they have and weird time. ones? Yes, no, so. they're like so, so short. Ones. Oh, like what? Oh, no. uh, that well, I forget his name. Guy with the crazy hair. Oh yeah. And, oh okay. yeah. Uh, no, I don't. I, I want Sadia to get better, and this is not how you you start the the healing nah, process for PR. I want Sadia to die and leave, and then maybe <laughs> re be reborn, and they call it something else, and then that would be all right. Yeah. Google Glass Part Two, where it's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we got a confirmation. So we got some uh, well leaks. Uh, GameSpot put up uh, some images they were not supposed to put up on their website about uh, EA Star Wars Squadrons. Uh, we didn't know anything mm -hmm. about the game. Yeah, uh, they just we put did up a video. Go check it out. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't know anything about the game. It just said pilots wanted. It's like, okay, what the hell is this? Apparently, they were not supposed to put it up at all, uh, which freaked out EA. And then EA immediately put up a video today. Uh, it's a trailer for for the video game. I think it looks. I'm excited for it, but I have a hate hate relationship with EA, and I love hate relationship yeah, with Star Wars. But, uh, I was surprised. Alex is more excited for something than I, I am. I love. I've yeah. been burned by EA so many yeah, times. I know. And it's and not Star the Wars combat too. sim. It's not the heavy combat sim that I want. And now you're talking about five on five when I want thirty on thirty. Yeah. Uh, Get the campaign mode. I know. Yeah. I'm, I know. Yeah. I'm going to be disappointed. Yeah. I just like for whatever reason. Create yourself. Yeah. yeah. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Yeah. That's what I am. I'm hopeful. <laughs> exactly, but I'm like, exactly. I understand that I am naively hopeful. It's like, that's what I really want. I really want this. And it's, it's like, like a, but you're going to fuck it up because yeah. you're EA. New Star Wars EA. I'm and like, your Star okay. Wars. I'm not going to let myself be overhyped anymore yeah so i'm not overhyped but i i still i still want it to be good hopeful, i don't know it's not Alex, going to hopeful. I, god damn it <laughs> all right so that was like kind of good news but again game game spot be better don't yeah. don't don't spoil shit for people uh, setting expectations is really important speaking of setting expectations sony uh we got to watch the sony ps5 reveal a lot of a lot of surprises uh yep. we got to see what the hell the thing looked like because uh, yeah, it is no right. longer I've seen so many memes uh, in the yeah, router yeah do you want a mini fridge wi or, router? or a router mm -hmm. right yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was, everybody thinks they're clever when they say it i'm like we've heard it yeah, yeah, times. yeah welcome to the internet all the uh, jokes are the same but you know what i realized that a lot of uh, people are probably going to put it on its side we were the one we showed it on its side in our video and people are making separate videos just to show it on its side like it's some amazing thing yes it's on its side what you can but hold it different ways i do ways. think it can doesn't do look it upside quite, down doesn't look quite as good as on its side so it's like no. but that's probably going to be the majority what do you think the majority of households are going to do talk stand or side i, I think, think that they will side. probably put it in a cabinet and then burn it out because they don't realize that it's not an old console anymore and those things need airflow otherwise you're going to cook mm. the damn thing right so i think right. that's what the majority of people are going to do because but the right thing to do is to keep it up up upright yes um well yeah. one of the things that one of the reasons that you couldn't use you could didn't used to be able to do that with consoles is because of the optical drive right because if you put a cd blu-ray or something in mm. there especially the, the original xbox yeah like it would like, it'd make funny noises uh, and it's like oh you're going to ruin this thing so Sony uh, is planning on releasing the digital edition, and this is something that is an interesting business move for them. One, it's probably going to be about 50 bucks cheaper, if not a little more, because a 4K Blu-ray um, uh, drive is about that much cheaper. 
And uh, the other reason is if you don't have a disc, you can't go to GameStop if it exists in, you know, this, this, this holiday season or Best Buy or any of those other places. You have to go to the PlayStation Store. And so PlayStation doesn't have to share any of that money with any of these other distribution lines. So they make even more money. So they're like, we'll give you a $50 discount, but then we got you hooked. You have to get your games from us at 5KB a second because their download speeds yeah. are garbage. I, I, I need that in the next presentation, Joe, for them to be like, our speeds are at minimum or at Seven. maximum this, this, <laughs> this. Even if you're paying for a connection of uh, one gig, our, our – uh, not gig because that would be too fast. <laughs> Even if you're paying for 50 megabyte, megabits per second, we will give you 1,000 megabits yes. per second. No, because it just downloads so goddamn It takes slow. forever. And then, like, especially the P- the PlayStation updates. You're like, you know, I, I got a couple hours. I'm on lunch. Uh, I don't oh have anything to do. God and then it's shot. like, now I have to update uh. my PlayStation, and it's going to take four hours. And I have to yeah, sit here and do nothing. I was going to download Warzone, the whole thing. Yeah. And- I was oh like, All right, no! Three days. Yeah. Like, I ain't got time for that. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, like it's just too much stuff to do to to wait for speeds of that download. But that's something that they're trying to do now. Xbox is doing something similar, right? We know that they had something called Project Lockhart, but that one was uh, talking about having like a pared down system as well. So you're talking about maybe a little bit slower, a little bit less memory, a downgraded GPU for people who wanted like a budget option that weren't going to play. They didn't care that the graphics weren't as good. <laughs> so we're talking about. We still don't know the price. Uh, we're getting into, but we're going to have a price war. We know what's going to be happening. Now, speaking of price, there were some leaks. Yeah, people uh, were sending me screenshots. Like, oh, it's seven hundred dollars, six ninety nine. Yeah. It's like mm, we got man. screenshots from from websites in Asia I that had somebody tell me there was either you or Jar, and I just went. I'm like, that's not fucking. Yeah, so we got we got ones posted on Amazon UK and ones posted in uh, an Asian electronics store where the Amazon UK had it at 599 pounds, about 750 dollars US. The Asian website it had it about 699 dollars US. Uh, they already have controller prices and everything else now. According to Amazon, those were just template and and placeholder prices and images. Now they. Uh, now we don't know if that's for sure. No. Um, There's no. F- that is so much way. higher than everyone had expected, right? Nah, it's probably just you know a bunch of uh, people trying to deflate the excitement of the PS4. There's no way. I will be shocked. Yeah, I will be. I, it will be a colossal, di- colossal disaster if that's the price. Yeah, we had seen uh, the bunch of experts had said that the the manufacturing costs were about four hundred fifty dollars per unit, uh, and if that's the case, it's they, not going to be the cost though. It's it's going to be five hundred like, maximum. Period. I'm calling it now. Mm-hmm. Ain't no max? way. Ain't no way it's going to be more than five hundred dollars. I think it is. You think it's going to be six hundred? I think four ninety nine is about right for for the the image. If it's cost four hundred fifty dollars, include and then you attack in R and D and shipping and all those things. I think that if they make zero money on it at four ninety nine, they'll be happy because they know they've got hundreds of millions yeah. of people on the PS the PSN network and they want to give them this new thing and they're okay with either breaking even or losing money on the consoles because then they got you hooked on the games yeah. and so that's where they're really going to make their money. Yeah. So Calling I- in now four ninety nine, five hundred here. Joe says six hundred. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Now we are getting new information <laughs> from Xbox this next month, right in July. We don't mm-hmm. have pri- official prices on either. Do you think that they're going to be priced the same, or do you think the that same? You think they're going to be priced exactly the same? The same? Yeah. That you think that they're talking to each other about what they're pricing? I don't and know. I don't think that's colluding. It. Yeah, I, I, I don't have think no so. idea. Um, <laughs> we have games. What do you? Have? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't know why, <laughs> but the Xbox Series X just kind of feels to me still like a side console. It still feels like one of the versions of the Xbox, you know, current Xbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and I guess their presentation is really going to have to change that to be like, no, this is the Xbox 720, man. Yeah. This is the Xbox 2. Or 1, 2. This is the Xbox <laughs> 1.1. 1. 1. The Xbox number 2. They're, they're, they fucked themselves with yeah. the numbering. That's yeah. why when they went to the sex box. This is the series Xbox X Box X, X. Uh, Series X series SX Triple X. Just put an E in there for everyone. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> so uh, we have to see where the where the pricing goes. I'm curious to see how much the how much cheaper the digital version is. I don't think I would be going for the digital version. Uh, I still think that renting no, renting like video said, games is still a good deal on certain games, and you know, there's still mm-hmm. a bunch of places to rent video games, um, like Redbox and others. Yeah. So I think I will be springing for one with the digital drive just because I don't want to spend spend sixty dollars. Video games are Redbox. Yeah, it's a good oh. deal if they're you're like you're like I'm not sure I want to buy this thing or I know that the game is only eight hours long, so I don't want to spend sixty bucks on it. Mm-hmm. I'll spend five dollars on it and beat it in a weekend so i think i'm gonna go for the the slightly more expensive one especially since i use the playstation 4 right now as like my Mm blu-ray machine so (laughs) it's just like i watch blu-rays on it and it's my netflix box and so we should talk to Redbox. it seems like a good option for our audience because we have so many fucking games that are shit and then you pay 60 dollars for yeah i don't know it seems like a good deal do you have to return it yeah 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 you don't get to keep it school they charge you. Yeah, right? charge you. Yeah. What happens? Uh, do they have late fees? Yeah, you have it. It's like five dollars for three days or two days or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then every period after, you just have to pay like the the late. It's not a huge late fee, but it's a throwback to the blockbuster days. Yeah, and they're on every single corner. It's nice for some games. Mm-hmm. I, I do it often enough that it's like I'm gonna get I'm gonna get. So you, what I mean is, you know, obviously you don't have the store, so you eject you eject the disc back in that that machine and show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all that we've got for this one. We'll just have to see what the the prices of these two consoles are. But I'm very curious to see. I'm hoping that Microsoft does something to to blow, to, your, to mind. blow your mind. They because have to. Yeah, I want them. To. The SM- that trip. I want them to so bad. Yeah, because Forbes, uh, Bloomberg, all of these all these companies are estimating that the PlayStation Five is going to outsell the Xbox Series X at least two to one. And I want to see the Xbox succeed because I want more games coming out. Yeah, so I want to I want to see all all sorts of new games come out for both of them. So I even give yeah. them the benefit of the doubt since they've been you know. Um, downtrodden and uh, been losing uh, recently, but it does seem like they're doing the right things, buying up the uh, game companies mm-hmm. uh, and making games, and not focusing on connect to TV or entertainment uh, hub. No games, games. That's games. what we want is the games. Okay, it's not where you start. Mm-hmm. Games. Stop it. Fit. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all that we've got uh, for this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Check out uh, the links down below. Support Manscaped. They support the Angry Joe Show. It's a great-ass product. We all have one. And consider maybe picking one up for Father's Day. Father's mm-hmm. Day is... Nose hair, ear hair trimmers. They've got yes, everything. Yes, uh, we... Yeah, and... Uh, <laughs> My ear hair and nose hair goes ridiculously fast. I inherited that from my grandpa, so I, <laughs> I actually use it, and it's it's good, guys, seriously. So uh, take care of yourself. Look good. Feel good. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. Your All balls right. will thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.